Jason here, and this just finished P90X Yoga X for the first time in, in a while. I'm reminded why this is a workout that's easy to miss, but also one of the most fulfilling to finish. Personally, I find it it's easy, especially when I take a pre-workout, to jump into the gym and and grab weights or jump around and to really you know get that adrenaline flowing and and push hard but what's even harder or what i find hard in fitness and i think it's probably the same for you and the same for everyone the reason why things like doing this p90x the classic yoga I mean, for one, it's just the length of it. It's a full workout. It's hard for a lot of people to be calm and to be with themselves and to be quiet for any extended period of time. And that's one of the hardest things about doing yoga not for any kind of you know spiritual or religious thing it's it's a fitness thing it's taking care of your body here while you are existing because it's just fact that you need this thing to interact with the world around you so that's the point of fitness is to take care of it and one of the hardest things to do is to separate mind from body to discipline your body because the way I see it is it's kind of this your body or my body is it's almost its own creature and it, it just wants quick fix right it wants to to avoid pain it wants to seek pleasure whether that's through food or through substances or through uh, sitting on a couch and doing nothing as opposed to showing up for an hour and a half and, and getting the yoga done or any other workout just getting fitness done you know, it seeks to do a shorter workout rather than a longer workout because that's the hardest part is disciplining your, your body, is treating it as something that you are in control of, not something that is in control of you. And that only comes through separating mind and body, stepping back. And that's what I find doing the P90X yoga, the classic, the hour and a half does for me is it puts me in such a zen state by the time it's done. Not during the workout and not, not before at all, but I always know every single time, hands down, that I do this workout and that I give it everything I have and I complete the whole thing, every time I end with a feeling of well-being. And I didn't record any clips from this particular workout because I just I wanted to do it and I wanted to do this vlog style, just check in with you. This is it's almost finishing up the first week of the P90X schedule that I'm doing, the focus that I have for April. Tomorrow's legs and back with Abrip or X. And then I'm gonna do the Kempo on Saturday. It's been a long time, so I, I think it'll be challenging. I remember it was always fun, so I'm gonna prepare for that. And then Sunday will be a rest day for me. So I hope everything's going well for you in your fitness. I don't know what program you're doing or what workout you're doing or what you're focusing on for fitness, whether that's any kind of program or just simply walking a couple times a week. I, I don't know where you're at. So let me know. Uh, you know, like, subscribe, comment, all those things. Post and let me know what are you doing right now? What's your focus on fitness? Not even just for me so that we can have a conversation about it, but more so that you can put it out there so that you can start telling other people what it is that you're doing, other people that will understand what you're doing. Because, I mean, maybe you have a circle of influence around you that supports you, but maybe you don't. Uh, I'll end on this. I remember back in 2000, the end of 2008, I got started with P90X, and I was dead set on it. And that was... That was a different time. You know, workouts weren't as prevalent as they are at home stuff. A lot of people just were used to all the gimmicky things that, that were more for just selling stuff, you know, the infomercials rather than the actual programs. That for me is what set P90X apart when I used to see the infomercials is I saw the workout 
and I saw the moves, and I saw it wasn't just a machine, it was it was real, it was actual fitness, it was it looked like and it's like a crazy challenge. That's why I took it up. But I remember everyone around me was, you know, just kind of poking fun or making fun of me for doing that at home P90X thing. And I remember that went on for you know, the first couple months. I was feeling great, but especially a lot of my clothes, with my work clothes too, were kind of unflattering. The way my body is designed, it just, it's hard to see sometimes. Like I have, my bicep peaks are, are shorter. They're not, they're not long. So a lot of times if I'm wearing a shirt that's too long, it looks like I have nothing. Uh, same thing with my legs. My quads are bigger, but if I have shorts that are you know around my knees or lower, I look like I have no legs at all until you know my shorts come up, and then you can see okay, I actually have some quad muscle. Um, so a lot of people would make fun. I remember until it wasn't until like the third phase, and I was over sixty days into focused fitness that. You know, for one, there was a few different things that happened. One person just kind of went to pat me on the back, and they stopped and were like, whoa, Jason, like, you know, they could feel that my back was solid, like, muscle, and that was from doing the pull-ups and a lot of push-ups, and of course, weight as well, but that was, that was into my third phase of doing P90X at the time. Uh, another time I was walking, this was at work, and I had, you know, my long polo at Red Robin, and I was walking by one of the other, uh, my fellow employees was sitting at the bar, uh, just eating on break, and the way my shirt had gone, I was carrying ice, had moved my, my pole up a little bit so you could actually see the bicep I, had, I was forming. If you look at my old videos, you can see like I was in the best shape I've ever been uh, inside and also externally doing P90X back because I was super dedicated. After that, I was dedicated here and there, but nothing ever like the original journey I went through the first 90 days with P90X. And it's evident in my old videos, you can see it. Uh, so, and they stopped me and they were like, whoa, like they could actually see it because before you couldn't see it. So people started to finally, you know, when we get to the point, started to actually believe in what I was doing and realize, oh, okay, like this guy is actually serious about it. So I didn't really have that, but what I did have is my one ability is when I'm focused on something, when I decide I'm going to do it, I have no problem taking a risk and being a self-starter. Uh, where other people sometimes need validation or need to see other people do it first. I just, I already knew I was going to do it. So I just, I went for it. And other people finally started to believe after I started to get the results from showing up. So maybe you don't have that, maybe you do, I don't know, but that's the point here. So stay in touch, comment below the video, just let me know how your day is, what your workout is, and if you're struggling, let me know. Let us know. I want this to be a community, not just about me, but about us. So I just finished my yoga. I feel a lot better than I did when I got started. Uh, it's a perfect week so far. So you know that's not gonna be every week moving forward. I know life gets in the way sometimes, stuff happens, but this has been an amazing week in fitness so far. Keep rising with purpose, do what it takes, and I'll see you next video.